Now to the continuing investigation into Baltimore mayors, into Baltimore's mayor. Federal authorities remain tight-lipped about the raids on our homes and offices, and she has yet to make a decision about whether or to resign or not. WJZ investigator Mike Hogan stays on the story live at our home in Northwest Baltimore for us this noon. Mike. Nicole, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Mayor Pugh's lawyer says she is mentally and physically unable to make that decision about her future. One day after federal agents with the FBI and IRS raided City Hall and Mayor Catherine Pugh's two homes in Northwest Baltimore, among other locations, Pugh has yet to be seen or make a statement. But we've heard from her lawyer. We had documents uh, that date back many, many years that were properly in our possession. Uh, and we cooperated, turned those documents over, and we'll continue to do our job and represent the mayor. This morning, the mayor had several visitors to her home on Elamont Road. Surprise raids yesterday unfolded as Mayor Pugh remained on leave despite calls for her resignation, including from the governor and the entire city council. This has gone on for far too long and is entirely unfair to the citizens of Baltimore. It has been nothing more than an unnecessary distraction to the important work that we have in front of us. The raids have again placed the national spotlight on Baltimore. And how did we get to this point where City Hall in Baltimore is being raided by the police? Yeah, this is another embarrassing chapter for a great city. Pew has been under fire for getting almost $800,000 for her children's book from organizations doing business with the city. But sources say the federal investigation has been underway for more than a year, well before the book deals became public knowledge. And Mayor Pugh has not been charged criminally in this investigation. Live in Northwest Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ.